Now I'm going to talk about the merge from a branch to a branch. But I would like to see the hierarchy between the main and the dev. I'll get all hierarchy to be sure that there are only two in my application. Mm, I will make another branch from the main, call it demo. Click on branch and yes. Now I have a main and a dev and a demo. Get let's to the demo to be sure that's mapped to my local hard drive. In the dev, I would like to compare its let's version with the main let's version. So the source would be the dev and the target would be the main. I click OK. Show me now in the source. These are the list of items that on the dev and the target has nothing. So we want to merge from dev to the main. Go to branch I'm merging and select merge. In here I'm telling that the source will be the dev and the target will be the main. Click on next. Here it gives me the option to get the file by list version or by date or by label or by a change set. I'm gonna choose its version, next and finish. Now it will merge all the files from dev to main based on its version. As you can see now, the changes branch and merge, and all the files are now on my local hard drive in the main folder. I will open branch and merge again just through the hierarchy and get the full hierarchy. Alright, now I'm gonna check in the files into the main branch on the TFS source control. I'm gonna override the chicken policy because we have no work item related to this and now everything in dev has been merged to the main now go back to the source control if I double click on the main I can see the calc and the ring calc under it just like the dev if you make a few history for main you will find that change set number 11 this was the last check-in we made. There are no work items associated, no notes, but there were unsatisfied check-in pulse. And the reason was merge. Cancel. Now if you can remember, when we made the merge, we choose the latest version from dev to be merged to the main. So now I will go to the view history for the dev and I can see the chain set called 109 so I would like to track this chain set now I will choose all the branches the main and the name as well to track this chain set so I'm gonna now click on the demo and the main and visualize and now it tells me that the chain set that was in dev is also a main there is also another good way to look at this by the time tracking instead of the hierarchy tracking. By time tracking, it tells me now 109 chain set was first on dev and then it was merged to the main with 111 as you can see it here it has merging in its command. If we go to 109 it has initial fight its command and warn there is no warning with its pulse but 111 has a warning with its pulse because we have overrided it. 